Uh, more beef. Sheesh. Alfred Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. If you haven't done so, I need you to subscribe to my channel um, and, and, and get this content first. All right. We are not trying to reach or start anything. We're just reporting on stuff that's already in the atmosphere. And it appears, it appears that Nicki Minaj has taken shots at Cardi B. Now, that was a rumor back a few months ago when Nicki and Remy were really going at it that Cardi B was going to hop in on Remy's side. The two kind of knew each other. They were on like one of those Love and Hip Hop New York shows or something like that together. And there was a, a rumor that Cardi B was going to hop in to try to make a name for herself. I can't confirm or deny if that rumor was true or not. I don't know. But there was a rumor out there that Cardi B was going to um, combine with Remy and make some sort of a diss song going at Nicki. That never happened. That never, never manufactured. But I'm going to tell you what did happen. Nicki Minaj is on this new Katy Perry record called Swish Switch. And many people are starting to speculate, did she take a shot at Cardi B? All right, this is kind of out of the nowhere, out of nowhere, right? We're going to put the verse up on the screen and you tell me. This is the verse. Pink, pink Ferragama sliders on deck. Silly rap beasts just get me more check. My life is a movie. I'm never offset. Me and my amigos, no, not offsets. Swish, swish, oh, I got them upset. But my shooters make them dance like the dubstep. Swish, swish, all my haters is upsets. Because I make them M's. They got much less. Now, I've listened to that first time. I'm like, damn, are some people just hitting me up, reaching again? I got people hitting me up in emails, telling me, DMing me, telling me that Nikki has been dissing people left and right, and she just dissed Cardi B. I'm like, all right, it looks like y'all reaching. That was my first thought through, and you tell me what you think about just listening to what I said at the bars from the new record with Katy Perry, Swish Swish. That was my opinion first time through. And then I listened to Cardi B go live on Instagram over the weekend. And it appears, all right? I'm going to put that Instagram live video up on my website. We know we put all that exclusive content on my website. You can check it out now. It appears that Cardi B is feeling some type of way, all right? She's talking about how her idols have become rivals and people she grew up rocking with have now taken shots at her. She's like, the industry's doing this, the industry's doing that. And I'm like, shit, maybe there's some truth to this. So what we're going to do 20 at, at this point in my channel, 70,000 strong. I'm not going to get into a crap ton of speculation over this. I'm going to let you decide. Bossup is reporting that Nicki Minaj and her camp intentionally are throwing shots at Cardi B. I, I can't confirm this one. I like putting these things out there for my people to decide what they think. Again, everybody knows that Cardi B is reportedly in a relationship with Offset. And Nikki's talking about um, how her haters tried to tear her down. And people are around um, are saying Nikki's one of the best at strategically throwing shots. When she feels as though her throne is, is somebody's trying to come for her throne. Step in the same lane as her. Or some female is, is trying to come for that top spot. And just the whole entertainment rap world. And, and maybe Cardi B's coming in that lane. I don't know. I'm be honest with you. This felt a little overrated to me. That was just my opinion. I still kind of feel like people are reaching. But Bossip is doing this whole big spill. Shout out to Bossip.com that this is a real beef and, and this is real drama. I don't really know. All right. I just put it out there for my people to decide. And you guys tell me what do you guys think. I thought it was pretty light if it was a diss at all. Nikki is the queen of petty. Offset of Amigos was quite the clever line. She could have went anywhere with that, but using Offset is very clever. I'll say this about Nikki because we got a lot of people that believe she's fell off, and I'm one of the people who write along with you. Like, where's the music, Nikki? You, you keep putting out these little records, these little semi-hit records. Where's the music? What what are you doing musically? When's the album coming? I will say this: this is how you know Nikki's still atop the queen of rap conversation. If there is a queen of rap. If you still have to, anytime she puts out a, 
a, a, a verse or whatever it is, are, if you're still judging it and looking through the lyrics and like, oh my gosh, did she throw a line at this person? Well, that's what people used to do to Jay-Z. That's what people do to Drake's lyrics from time to time. So regardless of what you think about these people, Nicki still has to have some impact on the culture if you still take the time out to address all of her bars go through and say oh my gosh there's a is it a diss at cardi b is it a diss at remy ma who is she dissing on this that tells me about a little power but by the way speaking of that queen of rap conversation i i don't believe there is a queen of rap right now i don't think i'm just gonna just hand out the queen of rap i think nikki did enough to lose her title but i don't feel like anybody else has done enough to take it i think remy had a a pretty decent year but their Puntos Plamos album flopped. I think it did like 22,000 copies. I don't feel comfortable giving the Queen of Rap title to somebody who can't sell over 30,000 copies in music. Because that means if your lyrics are that real and people really rock with you, somebody would be, and it ain't even just about buying the music right now. People would still be streaming it on Apple Music, Spotify. Um, anybody else in that conversation? I don't think Dreezy can do some more work, even though she wasn't nominated by BT. She could do some more work. Cardi B, not enough work. Nobody else. So I'm just gonna leave that. That I'm gonna put that put that in the escrow account. I don't think there is a queen of rap right now. Um, Nicki did get bodied by Remy in that in that damn sheep the record. I don't feel comfortable calling her the queen of rap, and it looks like she's not gonna put an album in time for the BT Awards. So I don't know. I wouldn't get an award to any damn body. That's just me personally. But we will see. All right. Apparently, Nicki has stoned some shots at Cardi B. Cardi B on went on her Instagram live and felt some type of way. Again, that will be on my website, and I'll come at the link in the description as well. So you can see, and you can kind of tell me what you think about Cardi B's Instagram live. Everybody's chiming in, saying that Nicki dissed Cardi B. I don't really know. I didn't really catch it first time through, but I guess these people know more than I do. I'm just putting it out there and letting my people decide. Talk to me in the comment box below. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for the time. Let's pour. I don't take it for granted. Salute. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at